Hello everyone, welcome to From the Star Wars Home Video Library. I'm your host Nathan B. Butler. This time we take a look at something that is a recent release, that is a reissue of a previous release, that is not quite as asinine as one of the things we looked at recently, or as insulting as it is, but in a similar vein. You may recall that in 2018 we had had that release initially of the Ultimate Collector's Edition, which right, was neither Ultimate nor Collector's Edition, as I always say now. Folks in the audience should know that by now, I guess. This is the original release. Had the same cover basically on the inside. And this one did not have the score-only version of the film on the Blu-ray film disc. That was only digital at the time. It did not include the Meet the Porgs featurette. That was only uh, through Target at the time. Original discs, original packaging. And we just recently saw that after they updated the discs for The Last Jedi to include the score-only version on the Blu-ray film disc and to include Meet the Porgs on an updated Blu-ray bonus disc and put those into the Skywalker Saga box set, some regions like Australia got those updated discs actually in a recent release with the black matching packaging to match other recent releases. Whereas in the US, we kind of got the middle finger. Oh, we got a matching slipcover, but underneath it was just that same old release from 2018 with the same old discs. We were in a situation where we knew that updated discs existed but that's not what they were putting inside the black slip cover. Instead, still the only way to get the updated Last Jedi discs is in the Skywalker Saga box set, at least if you're not going to import from another region into the U.S. But this sort of begs the question of what are they going to do and when are they going to do it for Solo? Because Solo is a little bit different. Solo wasn't part of the Skywalker Saga box set. It's not one of the numbered episodes. So as far as we know, there aren't any updated discs for Solo out there, any updated reauthor discs that maybe took the Target featurette that was a, a digital exclusive and maybe stuck it on the bonus disc or something. As far as we know, there's just one 4K version, one Blu-ray film disc, one Blu-ray bonus disc for Solo out there. Um, you know, barring packaging variants and stuff like that that we saw. But the actual discs, as far as we know, there's just the one kind for the U.S., now, if you look over to Australia, we notice that something odd happened with Australia. No updates to the disc content when they gave the black packaging treatment to Solo, but they did update the bonus disc's label. They gave us sort of that grayscale Millennium Falcon instead of that orangish character-driven artwork um, that my understanding is they had before, just like the U.S. did. So in Australia, new packaging, no elements of the old packaging, but old discs in terms of authoring, but at least on the bonus disc, a new label for some bizarre reason. But at least it was real packaging of that type. They don't have a slip cover, so the actual insert, the actual, what we would think of as the inside package that a slip cover would go over, that, yes, was the new stuff. But what about in the U.S.? Well, finally, we know the answer because they finally started hitting store shelves. Uh, apparently this time they're starting to appear first at Walmart's, whereas for Last Jedi they started appearing first at Target. It's all about restocking old stock. This was the 2018 version of Solo, the regular store Ultimate Collection Edition rather than a retailer exclusive. Again, 4K film disc, Blu-ray film disc, Blu-ray bonus disc, digital copy. Underneath that slip cover was the original version itself. And remember, the bonus disc, again, was that sort of weird-looking bonus disc in terms of being that really reddish-orange color compared to the rest with the characters featured there. Question was, what would happen when we did get a black slipcover for Solo? Would it be the old one underneath it, like with Last Jedi? Would they actually give us black packaging underneath too? Would they change the label inexplicably like they did in Australia for the bonus features disc? What would ours look like? Turns out, looks like this. And my thanks go to Matthew Fox from the Collecting Community. He actually found this first, and when I realized I couldn't find it, he actually sent me the one that he found, and was going to then go and pick up another one. Um, so basically, I bought it off of him, and he just used that money to turn around and replace it. Basically, a, a $30 slipcover, more or less, kind of like with Last Jedi. So what we have here is 4K Ultra HD, 4K Ultra HD, plus Blu-ray, plus digital code. The embossed cover image here, it matches the releases in the U.S. from September of 2019. Ultimate Collector's Edition, information about Movies Anywhere. Both spines are the same. Ultra HD Blu-ray, film logo, product number, and Lucasfilm. The back, Movies Anywhere stuff, tagline, characters, info about the film, info about the discs, tech specs, your images like Dolby Atmos, 
lots of legalese, American rating, information about digital copies here as well. But look through that window. The colors don't match. Big shock to no one after seeing Last Jedi. Underneath, it's just the original version for 2018 again. Exact same packaging. And for good measure, unlike in Australia, if you open it up and pull out the bonus features disc, it is still the same bonus features disc label that we had in 2018. The label did not change. Remember, in Australia's case, the label changed on the bonus disc, but the content did not. That was a little weird. In our case, same discs, same content, just like in Australia, but we didn't change the label. So I guess ours kind of makes more logical sense if you're not actually changing the disc content at all. But there it is. It's in stores now. It's just the old one with the new slip cover on top of it. This, though, I find way less insulting than this BS. Because in this case, we knew there were discs available that were new, that had new stuff on them, and they gave us the same old crap anyway, just with a new slip cover. You still can only get the updated stuff in the Skywalker Saga box set. For Solo, these are the only discs that exist for Solo on the U.S. market. So it kind of just makes sense that they would just repackage them again. Would have been nice to have the black cover underneath, like, say, with something like A New Hope, right? But not that big a deal, I guess, because it wasn't like we were missing updated discs. It was just a packaging issue. At least the slip cover now matches, I guess. As for these, there's only one left, and that's Rise of Skywalker. We're waiting to see if Rise of Skywalker is going to get this black package treatment. We don't know. It probably will as it starts to be reissued, but my guess would be we're still probably months away from that. Then again, I wouldn't have expected these to show up in May 2020. I would have expected these to show up further down the line as well, so what the hell do I know? With that, we will wrap up this episode. Thank you for watching, and may the Force be with the home video viewers.